Margaret with Texas Gal Treasures. Welcome to my channel if you are new. I do lots of videos about reselling and different ways to make money online. And this video is all about um, how I keep up with my spreadsheet for my sales on Merch by Amazon. If you aren't familiar with what Merch by Amazon is, I have another video that I will link up here. I can never remember which slide. Uh, that I will link uh, up above showing you exactly what Merch is. Um, it's a print-on-demand service hosted by Amazon where you upload shirt designs and they, uh, when it sells, they will uh, print it and ship it and everything and then you get the royalties for it. And I did a whole other video explaining it in more detail. So if you are interested, I will link it for you so you can find out more about merch. So there are probably as many different ways to keep track of your sales and things like that on merch as there are people out there, but I've had a few requests to share what I do and how I keep up with mine. I really enjoy crunching the numbers. I like seeing what my averages are each day. I like um, speculating as to how far, you know, what my, my royalties will be for the month, even though I know uh, sometimes I'm counting my chickens before they hatch, but I enjoy to see what my targets are. Um, but before I get started, I wanna hear more about you guys. If you would leave me a comment down below and let me know what tier you're on. I'm on the 500 level tier, um, and I'd like to hear, you know, if you are, at the 2500, 500 or beyond. And you know, if you're able to upload or if you're still waiting, hoping for a merch to open it back up, uh, I'm hoping for that for you as well. Um, and also, um, I'm planning some more merch videos and I'm gonna put a poll question up here. And if you would, let me know what kind of videos you are interested in. Would you like to see videos about shirt design? or coming up with ideas, or maybe the different requirements more on a basic level of what uh, merch allows and what merch doesn't allow. Or if you have another idea, leave it down in the comment section below and I'll take a look and um, be able to craft some videos for what you guys are looking for. Okay, so here we go. This is how I create my spreadsheet for merch. All right, so I use Google Spreadsheets, and let me just show you real quick how to find that in case you are not familiar with where that is. If you go to Google, just type right Google, and up, oh, there it was, will pop this little array of squares. Click on that, and down here it shows this sort of a triangle without points. It says Drive, so click on Drive. And this is free and it's all stored in the cloud. This is through Google. And over here on Google Drive, these are all mine, you can click on new and then Google Sheets and it will open up a new Google spreadsheet for you. So that's how you find it if you're looking for it. Let me close those out. And so here is my merch spreadsheet. This is from, this is 2017. So let me go back to 2016. I'll just give you a, a rundown of what this shows and then show you how I work it on my 2017 one. Okay, so over here the, on, on column A, I have each month, so January, February, and so on. Um, column B, and I could label this, but it's I know what it is, so I don't have to. Um, column B, I just put the number of shirts that sold that month. So here in January last year, I sold one shirt. And then in the third column, I put what the total royalties were. And this is just off of my, uh, um, what I do when I crunch the numbers, the royalties when they come from Amazon, um, depending on when the shirt shipped out or other factors, sometimes it's not exactly what I figure, but sometimes the next month is more and it works out. So, um, so each month, that's what I do. I enter in my totals and the amount of royalties that I will be getting. And then at the bottom of each column, I have the sum. Um, I have the, the, function. So if you s select on the first one, I'm holding down the shift key with my finger and then clicking on the last one, it will select all of those. And then if you come over to more, there's this little backwards E, it says functions. If you click on that and then sum, it will add up everything in that column. So that's how I do that. And then I do the same thing for my totals for each month. So I can see that in, in 2016, I sold 785 shirts. Sometimes I go back to see if shirts were deleted, um, but it, uh, you know, it's a kind of an estimate, and I know that, so it's about that. Same thing here. I'll, you know, select those and then go to sum so I can see what my total was. So I sold about four thousand, almost four thousand five hundred dollars in the the year of 2016. 
So what I do over here where it shows December numbers, November numbers, um, is I have each day of the month, so 1 through 30, I go to 31 or 30, and then each evening, or if I don't remember, I'll do it, you know, a couple days at a time, I will put in the amount of shirts that sold, and then I go and figure out what the royalties were because it will show the amount, you know, of the shirts. So I keep the month before and then the current month um, running so that I can compare my numbers and see, like, where the where the hills are like so I can see if you know the beginning of the month tends to be better or the middle of the month December it was you know all bets are off because it was Q4 December was amazing and so what I do how I figure that out is I go through and then this is my royalty amount so this is a little just sort of a, a holding tank of the amounts that I might get depending on what shirt sold so let's say I sold three shirts at, and my royalties would be 513. I can copy that. I'm holding command C and then I would just come over here and put three of them in there, you know, and then I have a little total. I'll show you on my next one when I will do um, one together. So that's what I do there for that. And then over here, this is Elaine. This is my sister. She started giving me some designs um, to sell and then I give her the royalties from that. So um, November, she got 513. Woo! And then December, the payout hasn't come yet. So when it does come, I'll be sending her the amount of uh, $73.49 for the shirts that the ideas and designs that she gave me. So she's not in yet, so I'm, I'm happily sharing my account with her. So now let's take a look at the 2017. So here's my 2017. I'm still in January. Um, I haven't figured out my sister's shirts yet because it's easier just to wait till the end of the month and count it all up. For me. Um, so again, here are my royalty amounts, different amounts that shirts might sell for, and here's where I figure it all out. So let's take a look because I didn't finish out. I must have been looking at the 24th during that day and just put four in there but didn't finish it. Um, so let's go take a look at the numbers. I have this over here. This is my, my merch opened up and I scooted it over so you don't see my different shirts that I have selling because people are very protective of their ideas as you all know. So I will come over here and this is under the analyze tab um, on March and I will select, let's see what day are we looking at, the 24th. So let's just look at the 24th and come over here. So I see I've sold one, two, three, four, five, six shirts on the 24th. So I will type in six in my spreadsheet which now, okay there we go, six right there. And when I do this, I have this um, function already set up, so you can see it will update. So here I had four before. So when I change it to six, it automatically updates. And again, the way I did that is I select that first um, cell, they call this cell, the first cell, and then go all the way down to the last one. I'm holding on the shift key and then selecting sum there. And so that's how I get that. Same thing on the other side. So six shirts have sold. So here's how I do this. Let me scoot over a little bit. <laughs> Hang on. I got the spinning ball of death coming at me. Behave yourself. Here we go. So um, I'm seeing here 683. So I've got two at 683. So I'll come over here and make sure I've got two of those. Two at 683. Um, one at 428, got it, all right. And then 768. So instead of having to type it out every single time, I just come over here and copy and paste it over into my, my running total. And then 598, so again, I'll come over here and grab 598. And it, it's not so hard when there's only one, but sometimes when there's two or three, it's just easier to, oh look, I didn't put the right number in there. 598, yeah, 598, let me grab the right one. Copy that and paste it there. Um, and then let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I have one more. I think it's at 513. Yep, 513. So again, I'll copy 513. I need to scoot this down. Hang on. So I am cutting this out, scooting it down, and then I'll put the 513 there on top. And then I'm going to double check to make sure I have all the cells selected for the total for my function. So 3673. I'll come over here, and you'll see this total update. Um, 3673 was the total for that day. So there. Um, and then I'll do that for the next day. And I know this may seem tedious for some people. It may not be your method. And I know I've 
you know, some people say there's a report you can get that shows all the shirts and everything. I, I do this because I enjoy seeing it each day. It's just, you know, <laughs> just for fun. So I do enjoy seeing it. So that's why I do it. And again, there's as many different ways to, to keep track as there are people, I'm sure. So let's see. So on the 25th, again, I looks like I sold six shirts. So I'll come over here again put six. I'll clear out my totals from the day before. So this will be a zero. And then 598 one time, 598, copy that over there. And then 683, one, two, three, four, five times. So I don't have to type out 683 each time. I can just copy it, count the cells, one, two, three, four, five. And then, oops, wrong one. Copy those down and paste them in. So 4013 was my total for that day, 4013. And so that updates down there. And then today, let's see what has sold today. Let's see, I haven't looked today. So one shirt so far. So I mean, I'll, I'll type it in, but there may be others that sell later. So 598 so far today. So I can just copy and paste it over just to show. Beep, like that. So, um, and then I can come over here because sometimes when I do shows or talk to people, they'll say, how many shirts have you sold today? Or how many shirts have you sold this month? So I can just come over here and say, well, this month I've sold 85 shirts. So then I come and plug in 85 over here, 85. And then that updates, this is how many I sold last year, 785, let me make sure I have that right, yeah, 785. That's, and so I have these, you know, I have this where it's adding up um, to down here. So it'll show this is updating here, and then once that updates, these two add up down here. So my total sale, I hope that made sense. <laughs> uh, so this is from last year, this is from this year so far. And then those two get added together so I can see my total sales for since the beginning is 870 shirts sold all together. So that is how I do it. Um, I didn't show you one of the charts that I made. So this was, let me see if I can grab a hold of it. There we go, move it up. This was December's um, shirt sales because I wanted to see like what, what part of the month was doing really well and you know, we're selling some days 20 shirts a day and it was really great. And then the Chris, this is Christmas. <laughs> and then it, everything just went to the new year right there. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, it was great. I was happy to have it. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Once again, I know that there's as many different methods as there are people. If you'd like to share how you do it down in the comment section below, feel free. I'm sure, you know, a lot of times people get ideas from each other and you might share something that somebody else uh, hadn't thought of or can use. So share down in the comment section below. Also, let me know about some of the ideas that you would like to uh, see videos about and what tier you're on because I really want to know so that I can craft videos that will be helpful to people going forward. So if you would, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. Um, hit the like button if you found something useful in this video and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye.